Shortage of school bus drivers and substitute teachers kept students in one district home today. Superintendent basically said he had no other choice. Yeah, that shortage is something we've seen nationally. It's now hitting right here in East Tennessee, specifically Granger County. So we sent WATE 6 on your sides, Kristen Gallant there. She found the impact stretches well beyond the classroom. If you don't have enough teachers or bus drivers, you can't have school. For some parents, the notice wasn't an issue. Well, fortunately for me, I'm self-employed, so I can always mark out or reschedule a client if I need to go pick up my son. But for one business owner, the school's closing meant rearranging their employee schedule. My child's already out of school, but I have a lot of uh, workers who have children in the school. Mary Mincy said all but one of those parents called out of work today. Superintendent James Adkins said the closure was ultimately related to COVID-19. That took away teachers, took away bus drivers and students in every school. So it makes it really hard to have school when you don't have people to run it. Cindy Roberts said she was excited to see her daughter go back to school in person this year. It started off really well, but then it kind of went south. Now she's thinking there may need to be a new plan in place, while another parent, Darla Daniels, wonders if virtual learning part-time might help. They really need that interaction with the teachers, and they need the social interaction. So I think the virtual is going to be hard if it's a full-time thing. But maybe going back to impartial again might be the answer to help some of the shortage. In Granger County, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Superintendent James Adkins said in a statement, first and foremost, my concern is for the health and safety of our faculty, staff, and students. I think we need to look at some current policies in light of how prevalent COVID is within our school system, end quote. Right now, there is no word on if schools will be open or closed on Monday. Well, we just